Hi, this is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from Proverbs 19, the 15th verse, and the Word of God reads this way. Laziness casts one into a deep sleep, and an idle person will suffer hunger. In this one verse in Proverbs, it talks about slothfulness. It talks about the lazy person, and the lazy person is not going to get what they think they're going to get laziness does not bring any blessings notice it says laziness and that's your way of thinking you're just that's the type of person you are you're slothful it describes you it says laziness casts one into a deep sleep now when it says it casts someone in a deep sleep your attitude of laziness is going to make you want to just sleep and slumber you're not going to want to get up and do any work because you have this attitude, you kind of want to lounge around all day. So much so that you're taking naps, that you're just passing out. This is a sign of a lazy person. Instead of working hard and diligently setting uh, goals for themselves, they're just laying around until they literally just fall asleep. The second part of the verse says, and an idle person will suffer hunger. If you're an idle person, if you're a lazy person, if you're not working, Guess what's going to happen? You're going to suffer hunger because you're not working for your paycheck. If you don't get a paycheck, more than likely you're not going to eat. Notice there's a New Testament verse that says, if you don't work, you shouldn't eat. Well, this is what happens when you're lazy. When you're lazy and you're idle about the things that you're doing, you're not going to purposely go and do a job. And you're not going to find any joy in work. You're just going to think that work is some type of slavery, that you shouldn't do it, and everything should be handed to you. And again, this is the sign of slothfulness. This is the sign of a lazy person. Dear Christian, sometimes as believers in Jesus Christ, we can suffer from laziness. It may not happen all the time, but sometimes we're just idle about the things we're doing. We could be idle in ministry. We can be idle in um you know, finding work or doing things around the house, I have to raise my hand first. There's been times I've been lazy. And when you get lazy and you get idle, you will sleep. You will suffer hunger. You're going to procrastinate. You're going to not want to do things. Let me tell you something. Work is not a bad thing. Work is a good thing. And unfortunately, in the generation we're living in, everybody wants a handout. Everybody wants to be lazy. They don't want to work for anything. They want people to work for them and give them money. That's why socialism is so rampant in so many countries. And, you know, it's trying to get a foothold in the United States of America as well. But hardworking people are going to be blessed. Hardworking people are going to see the fruit of their labor. But if you're lazy, you're going to what? You're going to suffer loss because you're not working for what you need and you're depending on somebody else to give it to you. You eventually become a freeloader. You don't need to do that. And as believers in Jesus Christ, we should always be the hardest workers at our job, hardest workers at church, hardest workers serving other people. We do not want to be lazy. So this is Proverbs 19, verse 15. I just want to do a quick look to warn you, Christian, but also encourage you, Christian, that laziness is a sin that you don't want to... Um, embrace in any way whatsoever. It seems like it's not a serious sin, but it could lead to serious consequences, and we need to be careful about that. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please don't be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. Until we do another quick look, understand something, particularly as believers. Work hard. Work hard at your job. Work hard at home. Be diligent about the things that you're doing. You are going to reap a harvest if you work hard. But let me tell you something. If you're slothful, if you're lazy, if you're idle, you know what? You're going to be sleeping. You're not going to uh, receive anything. And it could affect everything in your life. And the effects are not going to be good. You don't want to delve into that type of sin. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And God bless.